A time traveler from 2045 has come back to warn us about the future. So a self-proclaimed time traveler has come back and he's sat in front of a lie detector and he's going to be asked a series of questions about the future. I mean, maybe in 2045, maybe there is a, like a time machine, a hot top time machine or something that we can go back in time and tell, tell each other what it's going to be like in the future. How doomed we are, man, because this world is absolutely going crazy. Maybe some of the things he's predicting are literally pushing people's buttons and they're like, oh my God, this is what I predicted for bloody ages or maybe he's just echoing what people are in fear of in the future i'm guaranteeing there's going to be something to do with ai probably aliens well, ai and aliens that's pretty much the the major thing at the moment right and if he doesn't get asked that mate right i'm not happy right, late last night i saw the first question i can't remember what it was now the first question but I thought, okay, this is going to be brilliant. So anyway, let's go through the questions, see what he gets asked, and see what his answers are. Let's let's talk about it. That most people live in large cities. Many current cities will be destroyed due to rising sea levels. For one example, I will give is Los Angeles. Yes, the location of it as of now is. So most people live in large cities. I suppose that would probably be because of like um, the population growth. But then that would counter what some people say that... Mm, should I say that? So basically, there is a theory out there about the population. This would actually counter the argument of what some people are saying that is going to happen, happen with the population. Why would you build cis more cities, sky skyscrapers, if there's less people? Is he talking about the polar, is the polar s switch? Yeah, because you've got the North Pole, South Pole, and apparently... There is over a certain amount of years. There's like a there's like a polar switch, where water becomes it just shifts around the globe. Is that what he's talking about? Anyway, right. So I haven't seen going forward. What do people wear in the future? Let me, let me try and think. Let me, what do people wear in the future? I'm gonna say, just sort of, what will people wear in the future? I think everything will be organic. All right. Everything will be organic. In fashion, the color spectrum has greatly disappeared. You mainly just see black and white on clothes in the future. Black and white? Yes. Black and black and white. Man, that's boring as shit, isn't it? I mean, like, black clothing's pretty cool. Yeah, anything goes with black, really. White, you know. I was wearing a white hoodie yesterday. That was Rambo in that, but it had yellow Casper sight on it. So if it had black and white Casper sight, that's pretty cool. Quite like that. That's a new merch idea. Um, <laughs> but black and white, why? Why? Maybe it's because of the fear of insulting somebody. Maybe people are getting offended by colours. <laughs> you can't have yellow. I don't like yellow. Not allowed yellow. Why? Because it, it, it reminds me of something that upset me years ago and you can't have yellow all right fucking black and white then why, why would it be like that maybe it's oh maybe it's to keep us all uniform mate uniform across the board yeah we are no different we are all equal we are all one you can ha not have your extreme introvert or extrovert personalities we all have to be one uniform in order Maybe it's that. That is why I'm wearing this white shirt with my favorite black and white tie. So hang on a second. So he he managed to bring back a black and white tie. So what else has he brought back? Did he bring back the time traveling machine? Could have fucking done that. Do you promise that you're? <laughs> do you promise that you're a time? Do you promise that you're a time traveler? Pinky promise. <laughs> Swear on your life and hope to die. Swear on your mother's life. <laughs> I promise that I am a time <laughs> I traveler. I promise that I am a time traveler. Oh, lie detector. What was that? Lie detector. Lie detector says true. Okay. Are humans conver converging with robots in 2045? That's got to be a yes. Right? That has got to be a yes. That's going to be yes. We can marry I reckon you'll be able to marry robots and have relationships with robots. 
That's what I'm predicting, mate. In 2045, yeah, I reckon. You, you've seen the robots nowadays, mate, where like their faces are, hi, yes, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Sarah. But they look bloody real, mate. The question is, would you have a relationship with a robot? Could you have a relationship with a robot? What is it you want from a relationship? Yes, in 2045, in full force, we are completely converging with robots. Yes, we can completely upload our mind into a robot and simulation, which we can live in forever. We, yeah. can, we can upload our mind onto a robot. That's bloody Elon Musk, that is. Without these chips that he wants to put in our brain. We can... Uh, how, we can... What, what did he say? Yes, we can completely upload our mind into a robot and simulation, which we can live in forever. Yeah. So we can live... We can... Oh. So we can actually mentally be in a robot. Th that's Terminator. So your conscious can go into a robot and live in that environment. Is that what it means? We upload our mind into a robot and simulation, which we can live Oh, and simulation. I've been in many of those simulations. You can visit and do anything you want. May. That sounds pretty... That Maximum virtual reality, please! That sounds pretty damn good. That... It does. Uh, some people say that we are in the Matrix. Like, this is all a game. Yeah, this is all sort of like what you what you imagine, right? What 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 is being forced upon us to believe that we're in, which is also a, 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 a possibility of why manifesting great things happening in your life works because you're literally remapping the game. You're remapping the uh, the matrix. Whew, mate, do you prefer simulations or actually time traveling? Oh, so this guy, this guy goes everywhere. Maybe we'll see him again in the future. I actually prefer the past. I enjoy the history part of it instead of the fictional part of it involved with the simulations. The Are there aliens? Who built the pyramids? Come on, man! The main reason I actually came back here was because it's around before the time that I was born. I was born December 6, 2019. You're going to be born this year. When was this? Why is it why is why is it making waves now? Okay, may, maybe this is old, but it's making waves now. This year. Do you have any evidence? Yes, in fact, I have numerous amounts of evidence including a map of the new world. He was very firm about that one, wasn't he? Yeah, like, yes, I do have a map of the world. Was, oh, could you show us what aliens look like? I would, in fact, be open to drawing a picture of the aliens. Yeah. I can also show you some technology from the future as well. Yes. I think all the viewers out there will be really amazed with what I have to show. Come, come on then, let's see the bloody aliens. What is the most amazing future technology? Ooh. Well, apart from time travel, 4D television? In the future, holographic displays replace most of regular screen displays. Yes, augmented... 4D. ...reality is becoming big. We, in fact, have um, contact lenses that can project augmented reality. For that's actually something that I've seen already. These um, contact lenses that <clears throat> basically give you a, a supervision of, like, you know, images and things like that. I've already seen that. Whoever is aware. In fact, you can link two contact lenses. If two people would like to see the same thing, they can link the two contact lenses together and be seeing the same image. <laughs> Do you underwater cities yes, exist? Have underwater cities, much like what you guys would call Atlantis today, becomes a. Mate, he's talking as if he's in the year 21,000. Uh, but then, what? I mean, Christ, mate, I tell you what, though, to be fair, 
20 years from now um we we've done a lot in the last 20 years have dinosaurs been closed yes. We do have dinosaur zoos in the future. You can see T-Rexes, Triceratops, Velociraptors. If they existed, you can see it. What? So they have got literally Jurassic Park in 20 years time. I, that I did actually, I often thought about that. If like, because the, the original story was where they got blood, didn't they? Right? From a bloody insect, extracted it. And then sort of got the DNA and then made a dinosaur. I was like, well, what? Really? That seemed pretty legit of how they done. Why can't they do that now? You know? That, for me, that's fact. I, I, I know that there's going to be dinosaurs, zoos in the future. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Normal people can... Oh, okay. Can normal people visit the past? Yes. I, I, no, bollocks to that, mate. No, 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 no. You said yes? People can go and visit things in the past, like to go visit the dinosaurs or... Bollock! This is where I'm calling bollocks now, mate. This is where I'm calling bollocks. All right? Because do you honestly think that the government would allow the average Joe to just go back in history? And potentially change the whole course of history. No effing way, mate. No way would people allow that. No, no. Christ almighty. The, the amount of stupid things that we do as a race is ridiculous. So that, I'm not having that, mate. That's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that. Major world events. They go in something that you would probably think of as a modern day UFO. In fact, most UFO sightings in this time are future time travelers. There are people... Oh, that's a good theory. Oh, okay. So you could literally just go around observing the, the past and not actually interact with it, right? So you almost like have day trips. Instead of visiting the zoo or the aquarium or going to a a museum or a park you could get a day trip and you queue up and you you know you've all got a ufo and then you say yeah the year 1980 please bang there you are look at me getting born i mean I, i'm i'm younger than that in those ufos from the future coming back to watch past events that is a good theory man i'm telling you that is a good theory the UFOs have a technology to make them invisible, but at some times they can be faulty or the invisibility can fail, which leads to a UFO sighting. Hmm, like cloak technology. Right, okay. They've got technology that can make you go in the past and time travel to any year ever. To fly around, go supersonic speed, faster than the speed of light, and they can't get a cloaking mechanism right to last. Like, it's just faulty. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If anyone has any doubts or questions about what I have said, just wait and you will see that everything that I have described will come true. I don't think we'll remember you in 20 years, mate. I'll be honest with you. I don't think we'll remember this video in 20 years. <laughs> but I will also be happy to answer any questions anyone has. There you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And look out for tomorrow because it's going to be a freaky deaky video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.